welcome back welcome back to my exam coaching classes so as usual this video also we are going to solve some of the very important questions selected from previous papers so let us go to the question paper before that if you are watching my channel first time i request you to kindly subscribe and kindly like and share with your friends so let us go to the first question today a man is five times as old as his son four years hence the sum of their ages will be 56 years how old is the son at present so this question the relation between the age relation between son and father is given we need to find out the present age of the son four options are also given to you let us solve this question and let us find out how we can crack this question the given condition is what a man is five times as old as his son so let us take it this way let the son's age is equal to x so definitely the father's age will be 5x because it is given that the man is five times as old as his son now four years hence the sum of their ages will be 56 years four years hence means after four years so after four years the son's age will be x plus 4 and the father age will be 5 5x plus 4 because the present age of the son is x and the present age of father 5x so after four years we need to add x plus 4 and 5x plus 4 so what's the condition given here after four years the sum of their ages will be 56 that means when you add x plus 4 and 5x plus 4, we should get 56. So after 4 years, the ages will be 5x plus 4 plus x plus 4 equal to 56. So from this condition, you need to solve and find out what is the value of x. So when you solve it, we will get 5x plus x, 6x, 4 plus 4, 8, 6x plus 8 equal to 56. So 6x will be 56 minus 8, 48. So when you divide 48 by 6, we get x equal to 8. So x is what we have taken the present age of the sun. So here the present age of the sun is x. Here we got the value of x is equal to 8. So the correct option is what? The correct option is 8. So now let us go to the next question. So the next question is here. If two third of three fifth of one fourth of a number is 34, then what is 20 percentage of that number? So a condition is also given two third of three fifth of one fourth of a number is 34. So using this condition, let us crack this question like this. We need to find out the number, let that number be x. So we'll take that number equal to x. So it is given that two third of three fifth of one fourth of that number is 36. So let the number be X here. So what is the condition given? Three, two third of, that means we have two by three. Of means what? Of means multiplication. Then three fifth of three by five, one fourth of one by four of that particular number, the number which we need to find out that is equal to 34 so when we solve it we can we can cancel this 3 and we can cancel this 3 so it becomes 2 by this 2 we can cut with the, this 4 again it will come 2 so how much it will be 1 by 10 1 by 10 into x is equal to 34 so when you cross multiply x will be equal to 340 so accordingly 340 is the answer the number but actually what we need to find out, we need to find out what is the 20 percentage of that number. So 20 percentage of that number means 20 percentage of 340. So 20 percentage of 340 will be equal to 36, so sorry, 68. So the correct option is answer C, 68. Kindly note it, then we'll go to the next question. All these questions are taken from your previous papers. So here is your next question. The length of a rectangular plot is 40% more than its breadth. If the difference between the length and breadth is 20 meters, 
what is the area of the rectangle so we need to find out the area of the rectangle a condition a relation is given between length and breadth length of the rectangle is 40 percentage more than its breadth so let us start like it let the breadth is equal to x so 40 percentage of x is more for length so we got x is the breadth so 1 by 4 x will be the length because 1 x is the breadth 40 percentage more means 1 by 4 that is 40 percentage of 1 is 0.4 so it is more than x means what 1.4 x will be the length now the difference between length and breadth is given 20 that means 1 by 4 x minus x will be equal to 20 that is 0 0.4 x will be equal to 20 from this we can calculate x x will be equal to 20 by 0 0.4 which is equal to 50. so now x is 50 we have taken the breadth equal to x so x is 50 means breadth equal to 50 and definitely length is 20 percent more 20 more than 40 percent more that is 20 more than breadth so if breadth is 50 we can say length will be 50 plus 20 70. so we got the length and breadth of the rectangular plot but we need to find out what we need to find out the area of that rectangle so area of the rectangle is given by the formula length into breadth so length is 70 breadth is 50 so we got 70 into 50 3500 meter square so 3500 meter square will be the length uh, the area of that rectangular plot so the correct mm -hmm. option from the given options we can calculate the correct option will be answer b 3500 meter square So let us go to the next question. So the next question is here. The sum of three consecutive even numbers is 28 more than the average of these numbers. What is the first of the three numbers? There are three even numbers. When we, when we talk about the even numbers, we know the difference between two even numbers is two. So if the first number is x, the second number will be x plus two. The third number will be x plus four. It goes like that. So the sum of three consecutive even numbers is 28 more than the average of these numbers. What is the average of three numbers? Total sum divided by three. So now we have all this concept. Now let us solve this question. So the consecutive even numbers we will take as x, second number x plus two, third number x plus four. The first number will be x, second number will be x, x plus two, third number will be x plus four and what will be the average of these three numbers we have to add all these three numbers and divide it by three so the average of this sum of these numbers will be 3x plus 6 because x plus x plus 2 x plus 4 x second x third x total 3x plus 2 plus 4 6. average will be total sum divided by 3 so total sum we got a 3x plus 6 3x plus 6 divided by 3 will be the average now what is the condition given sum of three consecutive even numbers is 28 more than the average so this number the sum is 28 more than average that means from this sum if you subtract 28 you will get average so given sum is 28 more than the average therefore sum minus 28 will give you average so from this concept we will solve this question sum already we got 3x plus 6 average we got 3x plus 6 by 3 so sum minus 28 equal to average means we can say 3x plus 6 minus 28 is equal to 3x plus 6 by 3 so solving this we got 3x minus 22 is equal to 3x plus 6 by 3 when you solve this you will get x is equal to 12 so x is equal to 12 x is what we have taken the least number the first number the first number we have taken as x the x value already we got x is equal to 12 so the correct option is what the correct option is option b okay so this way you can crack this type of questions right so you can you can you can download the complete sample paper from uh, the website is given here myexamcoaching.com thank you for watching and kindly subscribe for this channel so that whenever I up upload new videos, the notification will definitely come to you. Thank you.